Welcome back to Sports Federation TV, the show where we chat about a range of different codes of sport brought to you by the Western Cape Provincial Sport Confederation. My name is Alton Davids. We continue our discussion and our focus on, on women at the Cape Town Sports Awards, the Coach of the Year, as nominated and awarded by the Cape Town Sports Council, is Desiree Ellis, Banyana Banyana coach, who is currently in Port Elizabeth at the CAF Championships, where they've just won their first game. Let's take a listen to some of the pearls of wisdom she had to share with us on that evening. Desiree Ellis, congratulations. Coach of the Year 2019, what does it feel like? Um, it's fantastic to be recognized by your, by your peers. Um, I come from Cape Town. So it's fantastic to get recognition from Cape Town um, and that I'm able to represent our province, you know. Um, it's really humbling and, and exciting. I mean, you've, you've gotten accolades in Africa and now on your home ground, that smile just doesn't seem to get any broader. <laughs> like I say, um, sometimes uh, people don't get recognized by their own, um, mm. in your own region and it's fantastic that we do. You know, normally they do it when people have passed on. Yeah. So it's great that we get recognition. And it's also great for all the women coaches out there. Mm. Um, you know, I think it's very inspiring um, that I can do it on their behalf. Um, and also the players, you know, that have made it possible um, for me to, to get this award. Um, it's an effort by everyone mm. involved, the players, the other coaches, the staff. Um, so it's a, a big thank you to them as well. What's it like coming into a, a national setup? Um, I mean, you've been there for, for a while, but now being the head coach, what does it feel like? It's completely different. Uh -huh. um, you know, when, you, when you're an assistant, um, you, you assist where you can and you give input and etc. But now, um, and as an assistant, you watch the game differently. Mm. Now, as a coach, you watch the game differently too. Um, but I work with very good people, you know, assistant coach and, and, and other staff. Um, I work with good people that, um, you know, support mm. and obviously the players that give the all. So that makes it um, worthwhile and uh, it's always a collective effort um, because uh, it's not an individual sport, it's a mm. team sport. So it's always a collective effort. So it's a big thank you to them as well. Because they make, they make you? No, most definitely, most definitely, you know. Like I always say, any award that comes my way, um, it's not just about me. Um, yes, um, if anything goes wrong, you know, the coach is in the forefront, yeah. but uh, any award that comes my way, I've got to give, um, acknowledge, you know, everybody that played its part, mm. the coaches, the players, um, the administrators at Safa Keta and Safa National, mm. you know, also sponsors like Cecil has yep. been fantastic and, sure. and made it possible for mm. all of us. So it's a big thank you to everybody involved. Talking about Cecil, I mean, you, you ladies did exceptionally well. In, 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 in France. Where to from here now? What's the next challenge? Or where do you go from here? Well, we go to camp on Sunday, mm -hmm. um, preparing for the Kosafa Cup in PE. Uh, we're the defending champions and uh, we know that uh, not just because we're the defending champions, but because we've come from the World Cup, uh, a lot of people are going to expect, expect a lot from us. Sure. And uh, if we don't show up, you know, all the lessons learned in mm. France would have, would have been useless. So mm. we've got to show up. We've got to show why um, we're the defending champions. we also got to show why we went to France. Yep. And, you know, we've got to make sure that we take every game, you know, take it a notch up and mm. make sure that we, we show the, 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 the fans who last year came out in their numbers. Yep. And hopefully we can put up another good showing for them and, and make sure that we put our best foot forward. Because when, you, when you're the champions, everybody guns for you and you've got to be on your best at all times. Inside tip, are you giving us any, any tips on uh, who would the potential squad may be or no, not really? No, we've already announced the squad. We've already announced the squad. I know, but um, uh, some people don't know. So uh, are, well, are, are there any new faces? Yes, we have. We have uh, Nukolo. Uh, she's been in the system from the under-20s. Mm. Uh, we've also called uh, Priscilla Pesa, a winger from Golden Ladies in Northwest. Um, got identified at the national championship, the Cecil one. Um, Stembele uh, Shange from Durban Ladies also mm. identified at the at the national championships. And mm. then um, we recalled Hilda, um, who's been injured, and uh, Robin Moodley, um, who's played last in uh, in 2016. So uh, you know that's uh, basically you know the players that we've called up, um, and hopefully you know these uh, new players can put their best foot forward. One of the upsides that I've, that I've noticed about your squad, particularly, is that most of them have an academic background. Is that part of your doing, or is that, or can you take some of the credit for it? Because most sports people don't have an academic background to fall back on when sport cancels. No, I cannot actually. Um, when I was playing in the national team, you know, 80 to 90 percent of the players were unemployed. Mm. Now, through varsity football um, and the opportunity that the universities are offering um, our players. Mm. Um, they're getting scholarships and uh, some of them have degrees 
you know, currently still so. studying. Yeah. Um, you know, some players that uh, study overseas as mm. well. So that opportunity that uh, you know, um, sport has given players, mm. but more so university football. Um, over the last couple of years, um, there's been a lot of national team players mm. um, playing both uh, university national team and Banyana. Yep. So it's really been good um, where players have come through. Um, yes, this year they had a very young side going to um, the World Student Games in Napoli and mm. there were uh, five players that were part of the World Cup squad. So we have that synergy and the yep. national coach of the university team it's uh, also, it's also, <laughs> it's also the assistant coach. So yes, we, we communicate at yeah. all times, but uh, varsity football has really been mm. good for us. Um, and it's given players an opportunity mm. to get an education. And I think it's so important. You, football is not a lifetime. Mm. Um, you know, you've got to have something to fall back on. And I think uh, in the past there wasn't anything to fall back on, but for now a lot of, a lot of players, um, they have something to mm. fall back on. And some of them go and play abroad, um, but they still have uh, an education, you know. Jermaine has, uh, has a degree. Um, and she's playing abroad. Yep. I think TMB has one year to go and mm. she's playing abroad, but um, you know, they've taken that route and I think it's so, so important because you've got to find time for both. Definitely. In closing, give us one of the tips to your success. Uh, I think it's togetherness. It's working together and everybody sharing the same vision. Mm. It's important that people buy into what it is that you want to do um, and then putting the effort in. And I think it's a collective effort, you know, from the bus driver to the kit manager, to the manager, the media officer, and the, and the, and the, the medical team mm. play a huge role, um, you know, in making sure that um, players are injury free. Then you have the fitness train and the other part of the technical team, the, an, the analysis is key. <laughs> you know, the analysis is key because they put everything together and makes it so easy for us as coaches. Um, you just get to see see everything, and then we sit together and we strategize and we come up with a plan, and then yeah. it's up to the players, you know. To, 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 to put that plan in place. And, and, and all those people you've mentioned are unsung heroes because we don't see them, we don't hear about them, but they're there and they make the, the wheels turn. No, it's important that you acknowledge them. Mm. Um, you know, uh, a team is, is, there's no I. Mm. In a team, there's we. Um, and it's important that you acknowledge everyone that plays a part because uh, people might think it's small, but that little part that they play, it's huge because of the effort and the, the input that mm. they have. And you've got to acknowledge that. So. Yes, the players normally get the credit, and rightly so, because yep. they work a lot behind the scenes. So it's a, it's a collective effort by players and staff as well. And you you cannot do without each other. Definitely. Um, and it's so important that they, you know, we play to, we we put together uh, um, and and put everything in place mm. together as a collective, and then hopefully the rewards come from that. Like the like the like cup and the P. <laughs> well, we have to put our best foot forward. Um, you know, we're going to make sure that we don't underestimate any team um, because you underestimate a team at your own peril. And sure. uh, when they come up against Banyana Banyana, it's, it's like a final for them. And we got to make sure that we're on our A game all the time. Good luck. All the best. Thank you. We'll, we'll watch it with bated breath and wait to see you lift that trophy. Thank all you. the best. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you Desiree. Thank you. As you can see, Desiree has got a wealth of information. She is also beaming and ready to take on the world and will lead by example with her team and the Chargers that will represent and defend their title this coming week in PE. Ladies, gentlemen, have yourself an amazing weekend. Play hard, be safe. Catch you same time, same place, 9 o'clock next week. Ciao.